Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your version in Minecraft, specifically how to update to the most recent Minecraft version. At the time of this recording it is 1.16.5, but I don't expect this to really change much moving forward. However, we had to have some slight changes since 1.16, that's why we're doing this video specifically. But 1.16.5 just came out today, the day that this video goes up, and with that we're going to be able to update to the most recent version. We're going to show you how you, it's done live. I've never opened it before, so you'll see every single step of the process the first time you open a Minecraft version. However, first and foremost, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start a server quickly and easily on the newest version of Minecraft. Apex is always updated, always updated the newest version of Minecraft, or you can play on older versions if you want, but Apex is a great server host to play on any version you want from the newest version, 1.16.5 in this case, or 1.20 in the future, or older versions like 1.12 or 1.8 if you want to do that. You can do whatever you want. You can also host modded servers, servers with plugins, all that stuff quickly and easily at Apex. We love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server on any version that you want. But you're here to know how to update single player and update Minecraft so you can play on servers and things like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the first things first is you will need to have the Minecraft launcher downloaded. I'm assuming most of you have that, but if you don't, at the second link down below, it's going to take you here. And this is our guide on how to download and install Minecraft on PC. Kind of goes over everything you need to know here and goes through the launcher and all that stuff. Once you're here though, we can go ahead and click on the download Minecraft button. If you don't have the Minecraft launcher, it will take you here where you can go ahead and download Minecraft for Windows. And yeah, there you go. That's pretty simple. We go ahead and minimize our browser and open up the Minecraft launcher, which after you get installed from that download link will look like this. Now, you may need to log into your Minecraft account, right? And if that's the case, you can do that. But overall, this is what you'll see. Now, the easiest way to update to the most recent version of Minecraft is to come in here to the bottom left next to the play button, click on this like drop down here, and then click on latest release. That's always going to be the most up-to-date version of Minecraft. As you can see, it's 1.16.5 there. So you can click on that and click play. Now, if you do have any issues for whatever reason, Minecraft's not opening, it could be a few things. First, I would recommend updating Java. Luckily, in the description down below, we have our in-depth guide for downloading, installing, and updating Java for Minecraft 1.16.5. As you can see here, and it's helped over a million people get Java set up for Minecraft to make sure it's the best version of Java for Minecraft. After that, you've got that installed. You can try to open up Minecraft, and in some cases, it still might not work. If that's the case, you are going to need to run the jar fix. And this is what the jar fix is. It basically takes all the jar files from your computer, like Minecraft and all of its files, and links them back to Java. Last but not least, you may need to add more RAM to your server. We have an in-depth guide on like how much RAM you should add and all that stuff in the description down below. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of RAM in Minecraft. So to do that, you want to click on the Installations tab up here at the top, right like so. So if we go ahead and click on Installations, we can click on this Plus New button. So from the Play screen, click on Installations, then click on Plus New. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have a 1.16.5 survival with custom quests, EMC memo, daily rewards, all that stuff. And then we have an amazing, amazing Skyblock server that is literally the best out there. It has a storyline. Yes, a storyline on Skyblock. It's really cool. Like, why are you in the sky? It has all that. It has awesome rewards. It has custom generators, it has so much stuff, minions, Bob coins, all this awesome stuff. So come check it out. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. But nevertheless, once you've entered your name there, just click on latest release 1.16.5, or you could click on release 1.16.5 there, or whatever the latest release of Minecraft is. Then we want to click on the more options down here. When we click on more options, we get these JVM arguments. And this very first one right here where it says XMX 2G, that 2G is how much RAM you have dedicated to Minecraft. So if you wanted to go ahead and up that to like 4G, you could. But be careful. Sometimes you might actually want to lower this to 1G to see if Minecraft will open. If you lower it to 1G and Minecraft opens, how you can fix that is by installing 64-bit Java from our website. And it'll open with 1 gig of RAM and it won't open with 2. However, in some cases you may need to add more RAM. That's very unlikely though. But that is where that's at. And again, we have a more in-depth RAM guide linked in the description down below that talks about modded Minecraft and all that stuff. But nevertheless, once you got this set up here, we can go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. Then we have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile we just created. As you can see, it's 1.16.5. Hover over it, click the green play button, and Minecraft is going to open up now in the latest version. It's that simple. That's how you can update Minecraft. That's that. Now, what's cool is on that menu where we selected 1.16.5 and you had all those versions there, that's every version of Minecraft ever. And if you click the right button, all the way back to Minecraft Alpha, Minecraft Beta, all that stuff, the old, old versions. So you can play on any version you want there and create a profile from that. But we're here to update to the latest version, and that's what we're doing. So there you go. That's how you can get the newest version of Minecraft. 
My GUI scale is a little small there. There we go. So once you're here, this is kind of the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, it says 1.16.5 in the bottom left. It is updated. Unfortunately, there's no real way other than that for me to show you that this is 1.16.5. We can join into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. I think we're probably going to join into our Skyblock server. I don't know this is actually our P or one of our survival servers. This is Aquatic Survival right at PvP here. We go to... Oh, if we go to spawn, we can go ahead and check this out. This is our aquatic survival spawn. This is our slash shot based economy survival server. Really cool stuff. Awesome server and um, actually the oldest server on Breakdown Craft. So if you want to serve with some community and some history, this is a great one. But nonetheless, come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single day of the week. We are constantly posting Minecraft videos. But nonetheless, my name is Nick. This is the Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.